hello students in this lecture we will learn that what is a manometer and what is its use okay so manometer is a simple device which is generally used to measure the static pressure of a flowing fluid at a point in case we want to find out the pressure the static pressure of a flowing fluid at a point then we can measure it by the help of a manometer and especially it is used to measure the pressure the static pressure of flowing fluid especially when the fluid is flowing through some pipe okay so we will discuss about a simple youtube manometer okay there are various kinds of manometer out of them i am discussing the simplest and the basic one because all the other kinds the principles are based on this simple youtube manometer okay now it is a simple bent youtube clear tube okay it could be made up of glass youtube manometer okay so you can see it is of u shape okay and it is filled with some manometric fluid okay manometric fluid is a sort of fluid which is filled inside the manometer and by the help of which we can measure the pressure of static pressure of flowing fluid okay and the rule of that which kind of manometric fluid we have to fill inside this u tube the rule is that the density of this manometric fluid must be sufficiently higher than the density of the flowing fluid okay suppose i say that in this this is the pipe okay this is the pipe through which water is flowing okay so in that case it would be better that if we are using mercury as a manometric fluid because mercury's density is almost 13.6 times than that of water so manometric fluid must have density higher than that of the flowing fluid for which we want to measure the pressure okay so you can see that this is a youtube manometer and one end of the youtube left hand side is going inside this pipe okay and it is opened inside this pipe and one end is open to atmosphere so in case we want to measure the pressure over here exactly at this point okay where this end is opening inside this pipe so if fluid starts flowing then at this point what is the pressure that can be measured by this simple youtube manometer okay now let's learn that how pressure is measured now initially nothing is flowing through this pipe okay now in case water starts flowing through this pipe and there is some pressure exerted over this end of manometer okay the end which is inside the pipe over there some pressure is exerted so what will happen due to that pressure water will go inside this limb and ultimately will start pushing this manometric fluid that is mercury we are using okay you can see that there is a level difference of mercury in the two limbs okay previously both are at same level but when water starts flowing then due to that push the water is pushing the mercury level like this okay so you can see that there is imbalance of the manometric fluid in the two limbs of this u tube manometer okay now just by measuring this height difference okay in this slide you can see that if this is the level of mercury in this limb of tube and this is the level of mercury in this other right hand side limb then you can see that height of mercury difference in the two tubes is hm you can see this much level difference is there just by measuring this height difference between the two limbs of u tube manometer hm we can measure what is the pressure at this point which is p okay this pressure p is exerted over here due to which this mercury level difference has been created okay what is the amount of that pressure that can be found by the help of this height difference okay now let's calculate how it is okay suppose i say that this is the pressure p okay and inside this limb hw is the amount of water entered okay now you have to draw an equilibrium line okay this is the equilibrium line okay and for simplicity this equilibrium line must be just over the mercury column which is lower in level okay you can see over here this column is higher so you will not draw the equilibrium line over here for simplicity we will draw the equilibrium line over here here because here the mercury level is low where the water is just touching there is immediate touch of water with the mercury over here you will draw an equilibrium line okay now what happens over this equilibrium line the amount of water level is hw okay up to this point which is the opening of this manometer up to this equilibrium line height of water column is hw and p is the pressure over here okay so this is the equilibrium line and inside which you can see this is u amount of mercury present okay so what happens in case no movement of fluids are there inside this u tube manometer then we can say whatever pressure is there over this point must be exactly equal to the pressure over this point that's it 
because in case inside this u2 manometer the fluids are not moving it means forces are balanced so in case we are taking this equilibrium line so over this point if pressure is suppose pa here also it is pa okay inside this u2 manometer the fluids are under equilibrium and no movement at all okay now let's balance the forces so we have to find out that what is the exact amount of pressure over this point where water is just touching this mercury level over there what is the amount of pressure okay that is equals to p due to this point and due to this water column okay this water column also is exerting some pressure over here so that is equals to how much we know this thing if a liquid column is there of height h then the pressure exerted at the bottom is given by rho gh so according to that the amount of pressure due to this water column will be equals to the rho w the density of water g acceleration to gravity and h w is the height of this water column plus p also because this is also acting over here so total amount of pressure acting over here equals to p plus rho w g h w similarly this amount of pressure is balanced by this mercury column height over the right hand side limb so over here the amount of pressure exerted equals to how much that is equals to rho m mercury density g h m okay so the total pressure exerted over here must be exactly equals to the pressure exerted over here so we can balance the pressure so we can easily find out what is p p equals to rho m g h m minus rho w g h w that's it this is how we have found what is the pressure p over here of this flowing liquid that is we are taking water this is for example there could be other fluid also okay and just by the mercury level difference the manometric fluid we are using over here is mercury just by mercury level difference between the two limbs chiefly that thing is required and we have measured what is the pressure p over here so this is a very simple device by the help of which we can measure the static pressure of a moving fluid okay now in here we have took the mercury as a manometric fluid we can choose other also but remember that manometric fluid must be of sufficiently higher density compared to that of the fluid for which we are measuring the static pressure in case air is flowing air would have been flowing through this pipe in that case we can take water itself as a manometric fluid because water's density is higher than air so hope you would have understood what is a simple youtube manometer and how to measure the pressure by the help of manometer thank you